Apple. If you're an outdoor enthusiast, then you really ought to check out John Kyle State Park, located just off I-55 near Sardis, Mississippi. If RV camping's your thing, we offer full hookup sites so you can pull your camper in. If you like primitive camping, we have tent camping sites. And for those that are simply looking for a cabin to rent, we have those available also. For those that like to play golf, while staying at John Kyle State Park, we'd love for you to visit Mallard Point, an 18-hole championship golf course that consistently ranks as one of the most popular public places to play in the state of Mississippi. Located just a short drive from John Kyle State Park is MacGyver Shooting Facility. This range is the result of a unique partnership between MDWFP and Winchester. While at MacGyver, make sure and check out the Sporting Clay Range, try your hands at Skeet and Trap, our pistol and rifle ranges, and even the five-stand duck flush. Didn't bring your shotgun? No worries. Just stop by our pro shop and rent one. In addition to golf and sporting clays, the obvious draw for folks staying at John Kyle State Park is fishing. And we're at Sardis Lake today and going to try to do some of that. Fishing with us today is Tony Browning. Tony, what are we going to be doing today? We're looking for fish uh, that are in the spawning mode or just out of it. They're going to be gathering around cypress trees or maybe some ditches, try to flip some jigs, throw some lizards, and see if we can catch some. Well, let's get after it. Let's do it. Folks typically think of Sardis as a crappie lake, and obviously it's a great crappie lake, but uh, it's also got some good bass fishing. Um, we expect the fish to be shallow, um, spawn, post-spawn. We hope to catch some good ones. We're going to be throwing a traditional jig and pig, heavy tackle, 17 pound test, seven and a half foot, you know, casting rod. Um, may throw some spinner baits, um, hopefully catch them on some moving baits, but we're anticipating right now this morning having to throw something a little slower, which is the jig. Uh, we're really limited today. Um, we've got a pretty stiff south wind sustained at 15 to 20 miles an hour. So we're really having to stay on the south side. So we're going to be working some ditches, some pockets. Uh, working some shallow brush and cover, not only trying to stay out of the wind, but also catch some good fish. That's what we're looking for. Just a chunk. One thing you like to see, no hook marks, good healthy fish. Let her go back to catch her another day. Dang! <laughs> Good solid fish with that belly. Sardis is not just about crappie fishing. Shallow water combat. We golfing, we shooting sport clays, and we're gonna do a little bass fishing. Did she hit it hard, Larry, or just swim off with it? Swim off with it. You need the sun to get out to get them really set up on those trees good. They'll sit in the shade. Isolated tree on a ditch bank like that. You know, it's been my experience fishing with the electric cricket. If you think there's one there, it probably is. She swallowed it. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Tony. Another good, solid, pretty fish. What do you think? What do you think she'll weigh? Three and a half. Three and a half. Tony, we're we're tickled to be fishing with you today. Uh, how long have you been fishing, Sardis? I probably uh, have been on Sardis some for 30 years. Wow. Um, a lot of the time, uh, I got away from it for a few years when Sardis went through a rough stretch fishing wise. wasn't wasn't too good. Uh, thankfully, it has rebounded. It's got a good population of fish, and 
uh, have just started coming back. And love fishing over here. It's a different type of fishing than we do on most trips on Pickwick and Bay, where we're fishing deeper and clearer water. This is short line, arm to arm combat, and it's a uh, it's a lot of fun. You or your family ever stayed much at John Kyle? We have stayed two or three times. It, it's really nice, quiet. Uh, just got everything you need just for a quiet weekend away from the house and just so many things to do that folks don't realize. You can get out and walk, hike, now you say the, the shooting range and just, just plenty of outdoor stuff to do to keep the family involved. What's on with this? Hey. I ain't gonna let Wildman get nothing on me. <laughs> Spotted by us. A lot of times the fish do set right in the shade of the tree. But if you'll pan around and look on the bank, let me catch this fish. <laughs> You do catch small ones too. But if you look on the bank over here, what you hear about for years is they call them the cypress knees. And so you can see, you don't have to make an accurate flip to that tree. That fish could be five or 10 or 15 feet off of the tree, or there could be multiple fish. So don't feel like you just gotta make one pitch or that if you miss it by three or four feet that you've completely messed the, the target because they're everywhere. Lots of cover for a bass. You know, big thing on Sardis and, and has been for, for as long as I can remember, and Tony, you probably know how long it's been running, is, is the, the St. Jude Bass Classic. It's held on Memorial Day weekend here at, uh, at Sardis. I don't know exactly how long it's been going on, but it, it's long been regarded as, as the largest tournament in Mississippi. In the past, it's drawn in excess of 300 boats. Yeah. And, you know, to raise money for St. Jude doesn't get any better than that. You know, important to the area with folks coming in to fish, important to the park. Right. We get the opportunity to do what we love to do on a great lake, and you get to help families uh, that, that have to go to St. Jude. So just, just a, great, a great event for the state. Thank you, sir. I'll let you do the honors. I'll keep fishing. Another good solid fish. No hook marks. Let her swim away. You know, Tony, we've been pitching jigs and throwing spinner baits. You know, a bunch of shallow water fishing here at Sardis. Uh, what are the other reservoirs like? I know you've probably fished those too. I have, and. and Characteristics are, are a lot the same. They fish very similar. Um, Enid, of course, notorious, and Grenada both as, as crappie lakes um, and loaded with them, but they have lots of cover, lots of brush in the water. And same primary patterns would work as, as well. Um, so if you were to go to Enid, let's say tomorrow, you would be looking for the same kind of stuff we've been fishing today. Right, and parts of the lake at Enid is not doesn't have as much standing timber as Sardis, so I'd, I would look at a lot more little points or focus more on what we're fixing to fish where, where a ditch or a creek comes in. It may have less cover, but with falling water should be pulling the fish to that depth. It's a searching thing, but when you run into them, it can be good. It's hard to beat a jig on the reservoirs. You usually have stained water, and it just, the big profile just gives you a, a big target for the fish, and uh, they like to eat it. <laughs> I like them to eat it. We've caught some good fish today. I, I've been impressed. Good deal. On the edge of that ditch, out there. Good fish. Another good fish. There, double. You got one. Double up. I don't know if I can boat flip this one. Well, we've been waiting for that all day. Right. Ugh. 
nice fish. We hadn't caught a lot of fish today, folks, but we've caught some quality. Appreciate Tony having us today. We've had a, a wonderful day. It's time for us to head back to John Kyle State Park, maybe relax a little bit, and we're gonna go play golf. We may go shoot some sporting clays. Till next time, see you outdoors.